Hey guys, what is up? It's Affinity Designs here with a brand new tutorial on Affinity Photo. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some electric or fire-like text effect, which is pretty cool to do and really easy to do, honestly. And uh, I'm pretty sure there are some other ways to do it as well. But uh, I'll show you the way that I figured out how to do it in the software. And uh, the first thing you want to do is just go to File and make a new document. Um, here, there's not a specific size that you have to choose. You can just choose whatever file size you want or document size you want. Um, I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080, which is my monitor resolution. And uh, the DPI is set to 144. Um, 72 is good enough for web purposes, but um, with the later technology, the new technology and better monitor, monitor resolution, um, it's better to go higher than 72, so I'll set 144, which is double of that. Click OK, and then here you go. And now we have a blank document. Um, what you want to do is make a new layer, and uh, we're going to set the background for our document. So let's go to the rectangular tool on the left side panel, and uh, let's just drag out a rectangle from the left top corner to the bottom corner. And uh, let's change the color too. So just go to the top right and double click on the color picker. And uh, I'm gonna enter a hex value. So uh, if you don't see the hex value here, um, just go to hue and then you'll be able to see the hex numbers. And uh, I'll give you what number I chose or which color I chose. So it's 6D7 or 6D0700. So it's this, it's this dark red maroon like color and uh, okay so when I made the rectangle it created another created a new layer so what we're gonna do is just delete the one we made ourselves um, and I'm pretty sure the reason why it's doing that is because we have um, assistant enabled so what that basically does is just create new layers if you know, for example like if you don't have a layer and you're trying to create some artwork it'll, it'll create a new um layer for you so you don't have to go ahead and make one for yourself but we're going to delete this layer right here um now that we have a background i'm going to lock it so that we don't move it you can do that by clicking the lock layer or lock button right over there now for the text make a new layer or you don't have to actually because we have the assistant enabled we can just go to our text tool which is down here artistic text tool and the font that I'm gonna choose is called transformer um, right here transformers and the size I'm gonna choose choose a pretty big size maybe 144 points should be good enough and uh, uh, let's choose oh let me undo that control Z to undo let's go to the white color and uh, write what do you want to write let's write electric I know you're probably thinking, why is a background red color and uh, and we wrote electric? Because we can do this either way, depending on what you want. We can do either a fire text or a, a lightning electric effect. So I'm going to show you how to create the fire text first. And uh, let me just position this in the center. And the fill is black right now. Let's change it to white. I don't think that really matters, but the white is just better. Um, on the screen okay so now what you want to do is um, make a new layer and uh, control click on the thumbnail for the actual text layer that we have and that's gonna make a selection around our text and then we can just go ahead and hide the text layer go to the new layer that we just made and uh, just pull out your brush tool which is on the left uh, toolbar as well or you can use the shortcut key B to pull out the brush and um, you can just choose a size or the width for your brush. Um, choose a fairly big size, at least the size of the text. A little bigger is better. Um, the opacity is 100, flow is 80. And the reason why all these uh, settings are already set for us is because uh, I chose a preset brush. And you can do that by going to brushes. And uh, if you don't see this brushes panel, you can go to window or sorry, view, studio, and then find the brushes panel right there 
So after you have the brushes panel open, you can click uh, on this drop down menu and from basics you can choose um, the other categories of brushes that are available for Affinity Photo and you want to go into texture and there are a whole bunch of different textures that you that you can um, use um, depending on what sort of um, text effect you want to create but um, for the style I'm going for I'm going to choose this one which is called um, Grunge 3 and what that's going to do is basically create this lightning or soft cloud or feathery like effect um, and the brush color I have is set to white so with the brush selected you can just click and drag around the text and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect there's no exact way to do this you can just like, play around with it take your time and try to create some sort of cool effect that you liked and uh, once you're comfortable with how it looks like then you can um, either continue on with the, the next steps or you can add some other brushes to make it better or look better or to make it look the way you want it all right so now that we have the, our text done we can go ahead and uh, deselect by control D and that's gonna deselect the text and we're gonna start adding the effects for our um, our fire like text effects so select the um, the brush layer then go to effects at the bottom and the first thing we're gonna add is the outer glow and that's gonna give it that nice glowing effect so I'll tell you what uh, settings to add the first one is the outer glow which uh, you can keep the blend mode to screen opacity at 100 and uh, the radius we're gonna set to around 5 pixels um, you can change it depending on your effect that you have you might want to increase it or decrease it um, but 5 pixel works fine for me and then the intensity we're gonna set that to around 70 percent um, there's no exact setting but this is just what I found to work for me and then for the color we're gonna set it to FF4100 and if you don't see this hex code um, box just go to this drop down menu and go to RGB hex sliders and that, and that will give you the ability to add this hex number. Now the next thing you want to add is the um, outer shadow. That's pretty much like drop shadow in Photoshop if you ever used Photoshop. And that's going to give it that nice, nice um, background shadow. So the settings for that is multiply which is the default and then um, 50% opacity that's also the default now the radius we're gonna set that to around 20 pixels doesn't have to be perfect but yeah 20 pixels works pretty well and the offset offset is pretty much just gonna determine how far the shadow moves away from the text as you can see it's going to the bottom right and that's because the angle is set to 315 we want to set the angle to negative 90 and that will bring the shadow down below the text the radius will be around uh, 20 pixels like so does not really be perfect offset will be around four and a half or five pixels all right um, now that we have the offset done the intensity is zero color you can keep it at black because we want the shadow to be black angle is 90 percent and done that's all we had to do um there is one more thing that I'm going to show you that I mentioned earlier. Right now the text kind of looks like a fire like text effect but if you want to make it look like a electric lightning like text effect all you got to do is change the hue and saturation color of the text so um, go to your adjustments and then you will see HSL which stands for hue and saturation, hue, saturation and lightness. Or luminosity actually here and uh, you can just change the hue to the right until you get like a purple dark purple blue like effect around 120 125 should work so 125 works pretty well it's like a dark purple color and that makes it look like a lightning electric I don't know I don't know what to call it maybe an electric like effect and that looks pretty cool so you can either have it like this or again the fire text that we had earlier and that's all pretty much for the tutorial 
today if you enjoyed this tutorial leave a like share it with your friends and family and leave a comment if you have, have any issues figuring this out and uh, help each other out in the comment section i'm sure other people want to learn from you guys as well so i'll see you guys next time peace out